Hi everyone, it's Ray. If you clicked on this video, it's probably because you're like me and you're trying to get more volume, body, and curl definition into your hair. And you are wondering what will Monate products do to your wavy and or curly hair. I'm here to share with you the products that I use and how I feel that they have really helped improve my curls. I have wavy hair with a little bit of curl in it, and it's been an age-old fight for me trying to get more curl into my hair. When I started using Monate, I definitely saw an improvement in the health of my hair. And my theory is that because I have cut it short to get rid of damage, my hair is having trouble creating curl clumps and I've noticed that when my hair is longer, I have a lot more curl formation down in this area and a lot more ringlets and the curl shapes are better. It's always been pretty flat. I don't, I don't know if we say straight, but it's always been pretty smooth on top and most of the curl happens down here. I suspected that when I cut my hair, my curls would spring up and I'd have a lot more body and bounce and that did not happen. So now I have short wavy hair. I would have rather have kept my hair long and had long wavy hair if my curls just weren't coming back. Um, but I am learning to help my hair become healthier and as it grows out and with continued use of the Monate products, I am hoping to see a lot more healthy curls, maybe not curlier, as in I can't make my hair curlier, but as it gets healthier, I'm hoping to see more definition and more curl formation. I have a very oily scalp, so I use the Monet Black Shampoo and Conditioner. I do feel like it dries my hair out a little bit, which is good for my roots. And if I need to, I will use the Intense Repair Conditioner to help keep my ends from getting too dry. So in the shower, I'll do first wash with the black shampoo. Second wash with Volumizing Revive Shampoo. This is great. It has really made me feel like I have more volume in my hair. Then I will use the Intense Repair. If I'm not using black at the moment, I'll go ahead and just use this shampoo for more body. I absolutely love the volumizing products that Monate has. So that's what I use in the shower. Next, I'm going to show you my styling routine and you're gonna see me putting all the products in my hair and I'm going to narrate for you as I go so you know what I'm doing and why and the order of the process. When I get out of the shower, you'll see me use these stylers. I'll just show you quickly what they are. Restore leave-in conditioner, curl defining cream, Flexible Hold Gel, this was an only for you product. And at the very end, I use two drops of Rejuvenate Oil. So here I am just taking my hair down and parting it on the side. Sometimes I will actually comb through my hair, sometimes I'll twist instead, but today I wanted the products to coat all the hair finely and evenly. And here's the Restore Leave-In Conditioner. I have found that this really does help my ends not get too dry, especially when I'm using the Monate Black Shampoo, which is helping my roots not get too oily. So I love having this on the ends of my hair mainly. I'll scrunch the leave-in conditioner into my hair a bit. Next is the Curl Defining Cream. 
you really only need a tiny bit of it. All the Monate products really do spread and go a long ways with just a tiny bit of product. I like to put the Restore Leave-In Conditioner on my hair first, then the Curl Defining Cream, and then the next thing you're going to see is the Flexible Fold Gel that I put on over the Curl Defining Cream. I found that this order of products really does help with the curl definition. So again, just a tiny bit here because what we're hoping to do is create a cast over the curls. I also wanted to brush in the products today just to get a really even coating. I did notice that brushing and combing the products in had a different effect on my curls. It made them more individual and kind of separate curls and a little bit more springy and fluffy, which I actually like sometimes. I really like to have fluffy hair, so this turned out to be a fun technique for me to try. Another tip I've been using is if my hair dries out a bit while I'm applying the products, I'll use this continuous spray bottle and dampen my hair a little bit. And then I'm squishing it and scrunching it to hear that squish sound. That means that the products are evenly distributed. Now I'm going to start twisting and I take small sections and twist in the direction away from my head and towards the back of my head. I'm using small enough sections that I feel like with my particular curl pattern, they can clump together. So for your particular curl pattern, if you have really tight curly hair, you could probably get away with using bigger clumps. I like to use smallish clumps if I have the time to twist all of this hair because it gives me um, a little more shrinkage and some tighter curl pattern. If I want to do just waves, I'll do really large clumps of hair and it turns out in more of a loose curl. So now I'm starting to scrunch those little twisties and just kind of bring all of those curl clumps together. And then I'm going to blow it dry. As much as I can get it blown dry, my hair tends to take a while, so I will sometimes just blow dry to 90% or so. I like to start with the hovering technique on full blast and full heat on the hair dryer and I hover around the roots mainly and I'll get to the ends later but it does kind of just take the moisture down a bit so my hair can dry a little faster. I'm trying not to disturb the curl pattern. I'm trying to keep those twists intact but at, at some point they are kind of going to unravel a little bit and eventually I'll scrunch out that gel cast but for now I'm trying to keep them curly and also I'm trying to loosen up the roots a little bit so that it's not plastered down to my head when it's finally dry. So when I do hold the hair dryer very close to my hair like this, I'm either pressing the cool button so the heat is not as high or I'm just turning the heat on low. And my fingers are in there too so I can kind of feel how hot it's getting and I'm being really careful not to fry my hair. But I do like a little bit of heat because that does tend to help my hair 
shrink up a little bit and it helps the curls curl up a little bit tighter. The products that I use have helped my hair become so healthy that I'm not really concerned about damaging them with heat and also I don't really use a curling iron very often but I do use a hair dryer. I feel like it's really helpful for styling curly hair and my hair is protected and healthy from the products that I'm using so I feel pretty confident that I know how far to go before I actually start to damage my hair and of course I'm not using the hair dryer every day, only on wash days. Here I'm starting to scrunch out the crunch and I'm also trying to guide the ends a little bit. They often tend to poke out in all weird directions because they're so freshly cut so I'm trying to guide those ends into somewhat of a loose fluffy curl and there it's starting to curl up a little bit. So I start fussing with these straight bits on the top and they're off, they often are straight. I'm not sure why, but it's just the way that my hair grows in. So I finally stopped fighting it and um, decided to do just a couple with the curling iron. Just kind of ended up being one of those days where they didn't want to curl. So I'm being really careful here not to do too many with the curling iron, just a few in front. I don't do my whole head with the curling iron. Occasionally I do straighten my hair and I use a heat protectant when I do that. And now for one last finishing touch, the Rejuvenique Oil. You really only need two, maybe three drops, depending on how long and thick your hair is. But it really does add this wonderful, healthy shine. I just love what it does to my curls, just kind of brings everything together. And you only need a tiny bit. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed my curly styling routine with Monate products. Please leave me a comment on what you have found works for your curls and click the like button if you enjoyed the video and consider subscribing to my channel. I hope you enjoyed my... This was an only for you pro flexible hold gel. On this video, it's probably 